YouTube, what's going on? Casket here. Uh, <clears throat> you guys can call me John out there if you want. That's my name. I'm going to be playing RE1. Um, haven't played this game in quite a while, but I uh, figure why not. I'm going to be playing on real survival. Resident Evil. Um, Chris or Jill? You know, I think I'm gonna go with Jill. Ooh, that's sexy. Yeah, let's do that. So, um, I know I have a couple other playthroughs currently going on with Dark Souls 3. Um,. Code Veronica. I do have uh, one episode uh, recorded for Dark Souls 3. I'll probably post that maybe tomorrow this if I can. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue the playthrough of Code Veronica. Just because, um, has been getting really any views, so, I might, I might finish it, I'm not sure, we'll see. Um, but yeah, um, I'm gonna play through this game a little bit, and, uh, try to pick Dark Souls 3 back up. What is it? I hope all you guys are doing well out there. Not much new has been going on here in my life. Just same old, same old, pretty much. Um. I haven't even really been playing much video games the past couple Barry. days. Any luck, Jill? Thanks. Obviously, I'm going to be skipping all the cutscenes and all that just because it. I can only record up to an hour. I know I've said this before, but if I watch all the cutscenes. Uh, this playthrough would be like eight different recordings, so I want to try to make it like three, three, maybe four videos. This game, um, it's probably one of my favorite. RE games, to be honest. It's definitely the best remake, in my opinion, that Capcom have done. Uh, I do I do like um, Resident Evil 2 remake. I thought uh, the third remake was Really, um, such a shame. That remake could have been so much better. It's, it has its good qualities, don't get me wrong, but Resident Evil 3 OG is. <laughs> In my opinion, it, it was it was it was peak Resident Evil. So, to see that game get a blasphemous remake is it's upsetting. Uh, at least we got a good four remake, I guess. I'm not a huge fan of four, but at least the remake came out pretty good.
And I think what makes this remake, RE1, um, really good is the original creators of the original game were involved in making the remake. Um, I believe Shinji Mikami was involved in this. And it, uh, it really shows that because, um, this game is very loyal to the original. It doesn't really deviate much, and when it does, it's... It's an improvement, it's not a hindrance, you know, it, it doesn't try to do, a uh, adaptation or um, rewrite the uh, script so to so to speak uh, yeah I want that key off the back of there Yeah, I mean, even the dialogue in this game is very close to the original. And the original dialogue is god-awful. It's... It, you know what it reminds me of? If you've seen that movie, The Room... That really cheesy, stupid movie that's like, it's so bad that it's good. That's how I feel about uh, OG, the original Resident Evil 1 that came out. The whole. This hall's dangerous. And, uh, there's so many different one-liners in that game that are just hilarious. The Jill sandwich line. So, they, they were loyal to the source material. And they improved, which I think are the two most main, um, they're the most two important things you can do when you're making a remake, I, in my opinion, is be loyal to the source material, to anything that is, uh, like, bad in the game or could be improved should be improved on and made better and oh this game what does do? it to perfection it is the remake of remakes Hopefully I'm not forgetting to do anything here, because I kind of play this game. I played it so much that it kind of... I get stuck in a, uh... Kind of like a trance. It's like I do, like, I go, I go through the game in a, uh... Not much thinking is involved because I played it so many times. Especially when you start uh, speed running, speed running this game, like everything becomes um, like habit. <clears throat> At 
Let me know what your um, favorite remake is in the franchise. Do you like um, Resident Evil 1 remake, 2 remake? Um, maybe you like three, um, 3's remake or 4's. Um, for me, it's... Um, gotta be uh, this game and Resident Evil 2. Some people didn't like Resident Evil 2 remake, which I find odd. I mean, it, it does um, do its own thing quite a bit. It's not necessarily as uh, loyal as this game was, but um, I think they did a good job with Resident Evil 2 Remake. I don't really have much um, besides maybe the uh, B scenarios. Um, yeah, there's definitely things you? they could have done better, but um, at least it didn't turn out to be like 3's Remake. God, it, it makes me angry just just thinking about that game. Because in my opinion, Resident Evil 3 original was peak, peak Resident Evil. That game was fantastic. Perfect blend of horror and action. And, um, the areas, the, um, everything was, um, a little bit more, um, like, two, two was a good game, don't get me, get me wrong, but three, it feels like there was more areas, more, um, Places to explore, more puzzles, um, more of everything, really. I forgot to do this uh, dog thing over here. Gotta go get this key. And for a game that came out, I think the original, um, yeah, the original came out on GameCube, I believe. Back in 2002. And the uh, HD remaster came out uh, 2009. For a game that's over a decade old, this looks really good. Honestly, I can't believe that this game came out that long ago. It's held up. That's for sure. Well, at least to me, it's held up. I mean, the graphics aren't, like, top of the line, but... For how old it is, like these graphics are pretty good, pretty decent, I think. It's 
a pretty uh, simple puzzle. But at least this game has puzzles, you know what I mean? Even if it, there's like simple, at least it's um I'd rather rather have a simple puzzle in a game than have no puzzles. That's just my feeling, but I would like to try to get through the first mansion segment in this video. I think I should be able to get it done. I'm kind of doing the speed run route right now. If you're into watching speedruns, um, this game, um, I watch uh, YouTube channel. Uh, well, the guy, his his YouTube channel is called Pessimism, uh, pe pessimist, or uh, something like that. But he's he's really good at speedrunning this game. I think he's actually the world record holder, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he's really fun to watch speedrun this game. Go get Richard his serum. There is serum. <laughs> it's another funny line from the uh, the original game. There is serum. Well, okay, Richard. Well, it's a huge ass ass mansion, dude. So, um, what do you want me to do? Like, do you want me to just like check in every room? <laughs> For some serum. Don't worry. I know where it is. I think I can get rid of this key. Very good save room theme, by the way. This game has a phenomenal save room theme. Well, the music in general in this game is uh, really top notch. Yeah, I'll have to upload that uh, recording I made of the next Dark Souls 3 playthrough. Yeah. Honestly, I want to think that I s still have to finish Bloodborne. Yeah, I'm not sure if I went back and 
finish that or not. I'm pretty sure I I did everything in Bloodborne, but I didn't fight uh, Lawrence or uh, Garman. I'll see about that. I'll see about uh, finishing that up if I can find the <clears throat> right save file. Oh, did I grab the serum? Uh oh. Okay, yeah, I did. All right. Here it. I go, I go on autopilot in this game. Typically, that guy grabs me every single time. I think what makes real survival in the, this difficulty so hard, I think it's not because the item boxes aren't linked. I think what's hard about it is you, um, the auto, auto lock is turned off. So you typically, you would automatically aim at the enemy when you push your aim button. Uh oh, I'm trouble now. trying to show you about the uh, auto aim ended up messing around too much now I'm in caution It's alright, there's some herbs up by where Richard is, so. There's no shortage of healing items in this game, that's for sure. Auto lock is definitely the only um, reason that real survival is difficult. The uh, item boxes not being linked 
all you pretty much have to do is um, keep all your important items that you're going to be using throughout the game in one main item box. Other items that you're not going to be needing or aren't overly important, you can keep them in whatever, just dump them in whatever item box. Important stuff, you gotta keep them in a certain item box. Having them, having the item boxes not linked is more of, it's more of a pain in the ass than anything else. doesn't necessarily make it any more difficult, less difficult. Oh, I was going to heal up. It's all right. I wanted to pick up that shotgun. That's why I... We got poisoned, but it's all right. Could probably have just used the other shotgun, but I like to grab the other one just because it's a little bit better. A little bit more powerful than the uh, first one you get. Ditch that. I'll take that. I'm gonna leave these acid rounds in this item box because I'm gonna use them for the yawn boss fight later on.
god. Asshole. I think, um, I don't know, every time I play this game, I'm just, I'm amazed how well it still looks. I wish, I wish Capcom would do another fixed camera angle Resident Evil game with modern graphics I think it would I think that would be awesome I would play it I think if they got the controls to be like really um really good I think a fixed camera angle Resident Evil game would be popular I don't see what's the big deal with tank controls anyway, I mean, I do, I've never had a problem. I find them just, just as easy as, I don't know, playing a Souls game or whatever. I mean, you got a run button, and you use either the analog stick or the D-pad. Uh, let's, uh, I kind of want to go get the, uh, the medallion up, t up stairs to get the magnum. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. It's nice to have. not a necessity but I like to pick it up Pretty simple puzzle again, but fun, still fun. we can go to the uh, boss 
Elder Crimson Head. I think we got everything, right? Uh, yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, if you're playing on real survival, keep everything that's important in that item box. In that save room I was just in. Don't keep any of the other, like, your important items. Keep them in that box. In that box alone. Because if you, like, start leaving stuff... Say in the the guardhouse or wherever, you're gonna have to take the time to run all the way back, get what you want, and it's just a pain in the ass. It's more annoying than increasing the difficulty, in my opinion, anyway. Taking the auto lock off, that definitely increases the difficulty. If you're wondering why I'm playing the game with Chinese, in Chinese, it's because I sometimes speedrun this game. And when you change it to the Chinese, it, it scrolls through the dialogue a little faster. So that's why I, it's all in Chinese. Just in case if you're wondering. I'm sure if you watch speedrunning, you knew that anyway. So. Right. Some people don't know, so. At least I didn't die. I'm gonna go back to the save room real quick and heal up before we move on to the next area, just to be on the safe side. We need this. We're going to leave this here, too. Oh. <laughs> 
asshole. I knew he was gonna grab me. I knew it. I think this area, this it. oh, I didn't want to do that. It's a really nice addition to the, to the game. This wasn't in the original. Neither was. Uh, Lisa, Trevor, she's a new, new addition to the game that improves the, the game. I'm not scared of you, bird. Some people take their time and walk around these birds I find it to be a waste of time if they're gonna attack you it's they're only gonna do min minimal damage so gonna be gonna save the magnum for end game probably the tyrant boss fight the uh, I don't know I'll probably use well I'll probably use the grenade launcher for the lab Tyrant boss fight and then use the magnum on the helicopter pad. So I can just stitch this here for now. I just gotta remember to pick it up. Later on. Wake up, Joe, before you get your face cut off. Hopefully we can avoid getting hit here. Yeah. We're good. She's actually pretty easy to get around.
So I think I'll make uh, the first save in the guardhouse, and I'll end the episode there. We'll pick up from where we left off last time. I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll, I'll be able to get through this game maybe three videos. Should be able to anyway. Uh, there we go. Uh oh, well, <laughs> sorry about that. I thought I heard something. Uh, just my cat startled me, Harvey. What are you doing, buddy? This spider is pretty, um, pretty docile. Usually you can get around him without him being too hostile towards you. Yeah, see, he's not, not very hostile at all. Just gonna go get the uh, <clears throat> control key, then I'll go save it. Another complaint I kind of have with this game is the, um, the door, <clears throat> the door loading screens. <clears throat> On an average, um, an average speed run, it's like what, like an hour and some change. If you're playing without door skip, it's 
I think it's like 20, 20 or 25 minutes worth of just uh, door scenes. Which is crazy to me that like you spend like 20 minutes, 25 minutes just looking at doors open. Make our save. Let's drop off some of this stuff for time being. I have to. Remember to pick it up before we leave, but but I hope you guys are doing well out there. Um, hope things are going good in your life. Um, Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you guys on the next video. Take care.